Okay, good evening everyone and welcome to Resolution. Um, first of all, I'm Mr Bolton, I'm the head of Resolution House and just to go on record, we are delighted um, to have you join in our house from September and really looking forward to meeting you in person. Um, I've got a few things to say and then I'm going to hand you over to our absolutely brilliant tutor team. Um, so just one other person to introduce that's not here tonight. Um, working alongside me within Resolution House is um, Miss Phipps. Um, she's called your pupil coach um, and I believe you've all had leaflets and you've probably seen her and my face on there already. Um, Miss Phipps, as you know from that, works very closely with Resolution House, all the pupils in there. She's someone that you probably won't see on a daily basis, but she does drop around to tutor groups um, with me fairly regularly, so you will see her. And she's someone that's off timetable, doesn't teach, but she's there and I'm here as well to make sure that um, we're port of call or a port of con point of contact for you um, and she helps out with a whole range of things so um, yeah if you haven't read that yet it's worth having a look through the information we sent out as well um, and Miss Phipps is one of the key people right I'll try not to make this too much like a government briefing but uh, next slide please here we go um, uh, on this slide here in front of you look you can see the different systems that we use in school and those are the ways that we keep in touch um, so pupils, this isn't necessarily for you um, or the young people at home there. This is more for your parents. Um, and it's a little bit of a plea, really. Like Obviously, it's really important, especially at the moment with the way things are. Everything's online, but keeping up to date is a really key thing. Um, so the key systems that we use, obviously, parent mail. I think we've got pretty much everybody's email addresses. So thank you all for that with handing in the forms and getting it all filled in. Um, but parent mail, obviously, we send home uh, a whole load of pertinent information on there. It's a really good one if you haven't got the app yet or you're not signed up to it. I strongly recommend that one. Um, our website and um, all the social media stuff, I think we've got Facebook, Twitter. Um, I'm fairly sure the art department have got Instagram and I think PE have got a Facebook page as well. But it's worth having a look at the main website and our social media there because lots of information, um, notices. I think particularly at the moment quite pertinent for you guys. Um, there's a transition tab. Um, and on that transition tab, there's a whole load of things like frequently asked questions and stuff there. It's a really good port of call if you've got questions. Um, somewhere good to just drop in and hopefully there's lots of answers there. Um, the other one that's on here that you can see is Sims Parent. I'm not sure if you've all been sent a link to that yet, um, but certainly in September or by September, that should all have been set up and ready. That's a really key way for you as a parent to keep a handle on what's happening with your young person in school on a daily basis. Um, so that Sims Parent app is very useful. It tracks things like attendance. Um, there are things like notes put on there to do with rewards along the day or consequences. Um, so you can kind of see how, um, if you really want to, like go full on Big Brother with it, sort of minute by minute updates on attendance and where they are and how they're doing and, and what they're getting up to. Um, that's one of the key ways that we get a lot of the information home outside of our reporting cycle. So you will get reports um, at least three times a year. And I'm sure somebody's probably talked to you about that one already, and it's not too dissimilar to primary school, but we do do regular reporting home. But this is an excellent way of you keeping up to date on a daily basis or even weekly, however often, however often you like. Um, just keeping tabs and making sure you're happy with how your young person's getting on in school. Um, that leads me nicely into behaviour. Um, now, we've got a rewards um do you know what? I'll talk about the rewards and consequences in a second. I'll go down this bit first. We're really proud of the behaviour in school. Um, and I think that's something that you guys probably know about already, hopefully. If not, we have really high expectations on behaviour at school. Um, and it's one of the things that gets commented on regularly when we have people coming and visit us. So we've got people that, maybe not at the moment with COVID, but certainly over the last couple of years, we have lots of visitors coming into school um, that work across a wide range of schools, um, supply staff. And one of the big things that gets mentioned is the, the kind of the tone, the atmosphere around school and the behaviour of the young people that are here. Um, it's something we're really proud of. It's something, of course, that we work hard to make sure happens. But I think at this point, it's really important that you understand it's something that's really important that by coming here, that's something that you're buying into, making sure that your behaviour is spot on every day. So you're coming to school equipped with everything that you need and your tutors will talk about that. But you know that you're going to have to put in a lot of effort every day. You know that you're going to have to be really accomplished. You know that you're going to have to try your hardest and you're polite and respectful um, to everybody else on site. So a lot of that stuff is around our school values. And again, you'll see that on the website. So one of the big things isn't just when you leave here, 
Um, when you leave GTS, we expect you to be, you know, have a good set of GCSEs, good results, but we also expect you to be a well-rounded person and have a really good character. So our six, um, our six school values, they all feed into that. So respect and responsibility um, and all of those bits, that kind of ties up into the behavior bit there. With that, we do track behavior. And I've put rewards first, and we will talk about reward points. Reward points, when things go well, um, reward points are what you get given. So that's our way of tracking all those positive contributions that you make in school. Um, so, And that's on a sliding scale. Um, obviously, if you hand in a good piece of homework, you might get five reward points. If you make a really positive contribution a lesson, you might get five reward points. If you step up and you become a house captain, which has just happened in school. Some of our year 10s have just, uh, year 9s and 10s have just stepped up next year. You might get 50 reward points per, per term for doing that. If you represent on extracurricular, if you have a piece of um, really good work um, in like a poetry competition or produced in the crier, again, there's a big sliding scale, but reward points are a really good thing to get in school. That's what we're desperate for you to get lots of. Um, our reward point system, it feeds into an individual competition but it also feeds into a tutor competition and then an even bigger house competition. So every half term, all your reward points get added up. And within the house, the people that have got the, we call it the top 10 awards. So the people that have got the most reward points per half term, they get, uh, there's an award ceremony, a reward ceremony rather at the end of the half term. And you get prizes in there as well. So that's nice. That's worth working towards. As a tutor group, all of your reward points get added together each half term. And again, you go into a tutor competition. At the end of the year, the tutor group that's got the most reward points, they get a prize at the end of the year as well. And then the big one, the house competition. All the reward points of everybody in our house, at the end of the year, they get added together. We've got this rolling house competition month on month. On month. And at the end of the year, one of the houses finds out that they've won the house competition. And they, they get to lift something called the Ash Cup or the House Cup. Um, I've yet to win that yet. So it's a little challenge for you, year sixes. You've got to get lots of reward points to help us win that one. I'm desperate for some success being a PE teacher. You can tell that I like to win. So help me out with that one. Um, obviously, with that, the yin to the yang, we've got reward points. But when things don't go quite right, we've also got something called the consequence log or consequence points. So they're behavior points that you can get. So... Obviously, we're quite aware in school that everything doesn't go right every day. Occasionally, you might forget something that you need from your ready to learn equipment. Occasionally, you might forget to come in in your PE kit or forget your boots for PE or uh, maybe make a mistake in a lesson like call out at the wrong time. So we log that. Um, we don't necessarily go straight in for detentions or those sorts of things, but we do log it. And the reason why we log all of those things is that we start to make sure that those things, I always say everyone's allowed a mistake because we all do make mistakes, that's fine. But it's really important that those mistakes don't become habits. Um, and so we log that to make sure that you don't get into bad habits at school, because when you do get into bad habits, that's when we start to find that you start to have real problems um, in the long run with learning and with lots of other things as well. So they're then more of a log, more of a guide for us. Your parents can see it as well at home or whoever's at home for you. Um, and it just helps us to kind of help you make better decisions maybe with your behavior or with things like your attendance or your um, organization. Um, so that's one. Anyway, I think your tutors will probably talk about all of this stuff a little bit more later as well, but always good to know. Um, the next one's uniform. So your tutor is going to be really thorough in a moment and go through the full uniform um, list. They've got a full range of stuff. They've got stuff on our website, printed pictures and all the rest of it. But I just wanted to have a little nudge as well from us. It's really important um, that your uniform is correct and that you wear the correct uniform every day. So before you go out and purchase anything, um, that's not necessarily um, some stuff has to be purchased from Price and Buckland, which is the website that we use, the GTS Academy bits there. Um, that stuff that's branded up, that's where you get it. I think we've got a second-hand shop on our Facebook page as well. Um, it's worth looking at that to be able to pick up a few bits as well because it keeps it cheaper, um, which I've got a parent. I'm a parent as well of a year six coming in, and cheap is good. Um, but, yeah, if um, you're going out and picking up any other bits and bobs, like this, kind of the blouses or the shirts or trousers, it's really important that you do check in on the website, um, check in the information that we sent out as well, 
and make sure you're getting the correct uniform because it's really important you wear that correct uniform every day. It's one of the little things for us that we can see you're properly ready to go for school by making sure that you're properly attired and you also bring all the correct stuff in each day as well. So yeah, that's the little nudge on uniform. And again, the earlier you can check and make sure what you're getting is correct, the better, because then it's not an expensive take back to the shops and replace it. Um, yeah, I think the last bit from me is to introduce your tutors. So like I said, we've got um, a fabulous tutor team and they're ready to go. You should have a Teams link already sent to you by your child's tutor. Um, I'll go through them very quickly. So we've got Miss Withercombe um, and um, Mam teaches history. We've got Mr. Cook is one of our tutors uh, and he's the head of PE. Um, Mrs. Bryan is another tutor that will have emailed you. She teaches ICT. Um, Miss Davy Wright teaches maths. Mr. Westhorpe teaches music. And we've also got uh, a new lady starting with us called Miss Maltby, and she teaches English, or she will be teaching us English um, from September. Um, with uh, those of you going into Miss Maltby's tutor group, um, we're not sure whether or not she can or can't be with us tonight. But what we've asked is um, we've also got Key Stage 4 tutors in the house. Uh, one of our fabulous Key Stage 4 tutors is Miss Sargent. She's the head of maths. Um, she's stepping in for Miss Maltby this evening just to make sure you've got someone from school they can hopefully answer all your questions and run through all the information shortly as well. Um, and we're hoping Ms. Maltby might be able to drop in too. We'll have to see that one when you get to the team's calls. Um, but yeah, that's our team of tutors. They take you through key stage three. So in key stage three, which is your seven, eight and nine, you'll stay with that same tutor the whole way through your seven, eight and nine. When you get to year 10, which gosh, it seems like a long way away at this point. But trust me, those of you that have got siblings that have been at school, I know there's a few of you. It does go very quickly. Um, when you do get to year 10 and then 11, you'll get a different tutor, a key stage four tutor. And obviously I mentioned Miss Sargent's one of those and they take you through your sort of, um, through the GCSE process, um, applying for GCSEs, going on to your GCSE courses, work experience, applying for college. I can see a lot of scared parents, I'd imagine at this point, um, but it all does come around very quickly, trust me. But yeah, we've got a bespoke team at key stage four that help you out with that process as well. Um, the last, last, last bit from me, I promise, because I do talk too much. Um, if you have any issues at all, um, I really encourage you to uh, have a look at the website. Like I said, the transition bit there, there are videos of the school, there are tours of the school um, on our school website. We've also got a list of all the teachers and their email addresses as well. So it's a really good first port of call if you've got any questions. There's lots of frequently asked questions up there as well. So if you leave this evening, um, as I normally do at these sorts of events, kind of on the drive home going like, oh, I wish I'd asked that question, um, but I've forgotten or I've only remembered now. Definitely have a look at the website. If you can't find the answer there, feel free to email your tutor, feel free to email me, and we'll do our best to get back to you as soon as possible. Um, I'll leave you there. I'll leave you to now go and have your meeting. So if you obviously log off this one, click onto the Teams link that your tutor sent. I think you'll get held in a lobby and then they'll admit you and be able to give you a bit more information. It's lovely to meet you, and I'm really looking forward to seeing you all, hopefully, in the summer at the summer camp, and if not, definitely at the start of September. Thanks for coming.